When Rocky and Bullwinkle arrived at their new ranch, the Lazy J, they found that it wasn't the choicest piece of real estate in the world. As a matter of fact, the only good piece of land on it ran straight up and down. Must have some mighty acrobatic cows on this ranch. Acrobatic? Or maybe they got suction cups on their hoofs. <laughs> you plumb loco? No, I'm plumb Bullwinkle. There's no cows on this ranch. No cows? Well, it's not so bad being a sheep herder, Rock. Sometimes they're the good guys, too. No sheep, neither. Hogs, maybe? Nope. Muskrats? Nope. Horses? Nope. Chinchillas? Nope. Mink? Nope. Plenty pussies? Nope. Hold it. I'm plumb tuckered out, waggling my head back and forth. Well, what do you raise on this ranch? I better whisper. Bullwinkle! Gee, he fainted. What did you say to him? I better whisper. <laughs> Good heavens, both of our heroes have fainted. Well, what did you say to them? Just told them what we raise on this ranch. Well, what is it? I better whisper. Worms. Worms? Well, I bet dog. He fainted, too. Did, did I hear you right? This is a worm ranch? A worm ranch? A worm ranch? Say, if you fellas would get together, you'd make a fine trio. Oh, a worm, worm ranch. ranch! See, I told you. Yes, it turned out to be all too true. The boys had traveled a thousand miles and spent $28 of their hard-earned money to buy a worm ranch. Yep, it's the biggest herd in these here parts. But where is it? Where else? Underground. Sure enough, the boys had taken on the job of herding a bunch of critters they couldn't even see. But for the next few weeks, they were too busy to worry about it. First, there was the big spring roundup. What's this contraption got to do with the roundup? Only way we know where the little rascals are. What do I do? You jump up and down on this pogo stick. Sort of drive them ahead of you. Good luck. And so our friends started out to round up their herd. Whoopee! Hi, hi, yo, get along, get the long, little doggy. Oh, Winkle, we aren't rounding up doggies. I know, but I just can't bring myself to sing Get Along, Little Worm. And, uh-oh. What is it? A stray is cut loose from the herd. After him, Bo Winkle. Get back in there. No, no, not the other way. Uh-oh, I lost him. Oh, that does it. No early worm can give me the bird. Uh-oh, now you've done it. What, what, what I done it? You spoke the herd. They're stampeding. Well, it certainly looked that way, for the ground began to tremble as if there were an earthquake. Jumping key horse that must be millions of them. Stampede! Underground stampede! No. In the movies, they always try to head off the leader. How can you hit them when you don't know which way they're going? I don't know, but we gotta try. Keep pounding on the ground. And our heroes bravely tried to turn the leaders. Come on, turn. Get him turned around, Bullwinkle. They sure would if I could see him. But eventually the trembling stopped. Except for my knees. And our boys knew the herd had quieted down. But their troubles weren't over, not by a long shot. For watching our boys from a nearby hill was a sinister figure, wearing, of all things, a cowboy hat and kilts. Who can this mysterious stranger be? We'll find out next time in The Last Angry Angus or Hot Scotch.